Hi everyone, Dan here from Bring Your Own Laptop. I'm about to start a new course. It's going to be about adding background video to a website, kind of like the thing I've got in front of me here. That kind of abstract background where it's kind of just supporting, like say the hero image or a product over the top. Not like embedding a video that people will play, this is more like a supportive video in the background. So that's the course that I wanna make. What I wanna do is quickly talk about the outline and just get some feedback from people before I go off and make it. Mainly so that A, I can find out if you think it's worth making, maybe it's not, maybe there's something else you should be doing. But if you do like it, but you think there's maybe something that I can include in the outline that I haven't, okay, or maybe I've made it too long, that's kind of the feedback I want. So the rough course description is we're gonna be learning to make these background videos. We'll actually make a small website with the process rather than just putting in this background image. You can skip to that. I'll block off that part of the course where you can just go and do the video stuff for people that already are pretty good with HTML and CSS. But for the people that aren't, this would be a good practice website as well. So we'll build just the basic stuff not this site, this is not mine. Okay, I'm just an example here, but we'll build things like this. We'll add some text on the top and we'll build maybe a basic navigation just so we can get our HTML and CSS skills up and then we'll go and add the video. Not just adding the video though, what I'd like to do is I'd actually like to show you how to produce it. It's not gonna be a full video editing, but I wanna show you how to get the footage, okay, maybe from stock library sites and how to cut it so it's a nice loop and also how to make the different formats. All the videos that I've seen of people doing this, there's kind of cut to like, hey, we've magically got MP4s and OG files and all these files that we're gonna use. I'd like to show you how to use something like Premiere or Adobe Media Encoder to actually make the video. So you get it, process it, get it as small as you can, the right formats before we go and stick it on our site. So this is the outline that I'm gonna cover. So roughly it's the, we'll do an intro of course, I'll do what resources are covered. I'll make some teacher resources for it in a cheat sheet as well, along with exercise files and the completed video files, okay, with the working website. We'll do a pros and cons and cool examples like this. So here's some other examples. So with these full background, not just this full background, we'll look at this one as well, where it's kind of like a smaller part, okay, of a larger website. Okay, so it's more like a full website with this video option in here. Here's another couple of options. Hello, 80s. Okay, some cool abstract back stuff. So after that, we'll look at making the video. So where to get it from, adding things like this kind of like black hair, blurring it a little bit in the background. Then we'll look at what size it should be. Should it be HD, not HD, what's file formats, those types of things. Then we'll go in and create a basic site. Header, main copy like this, there's a bit of a menu going on on a logo and some text. Then we'll go and add the video tags, look at what you can do with them, how to get them to loop, that sort of thing. And that'll be for this background kind of full image here where it kind of resizes in the background there. Then we'll do a little bit more unique one where it's kind of smaller in part of this. And for the people that have done my Dreamweaver bootstrap class, what I'll do is I'll use that example from that class. So if you've done that and you've built your site around that, I'll show you how to adapt it for this. Along with that, we'll look at adding these filters. See this one's yellow, kind of washed out yellow in the background. Sometimes like this one here is black. Some people like to put in, that one's just well, that one's been toned down a little bit as well. And this one here has been blurred. We'll look at doing all of those things to the video. We'll look at different ways of doing that. We'll look at what to do with Bootstrap. We'll look, make sure it's responsive, what to do for mobile devices. And then we'll look at publishing it to the interweb. Okay, so that's gonna be my outline. If you think, hey, that's dumb, that's too long, it's too short, why didn't you talk about that? I'd like to know about this. Please let me know in the comments here. I try and make these courses as good as I can and it's feedback at this stage that really helps that. And one last thing, if you are keen, you're like, man, that course is for me. What you can do is I'll put up a URL on the page here, okay, right there. Go there and pre-register and what I'll do is I'll send you the video course. Okay, it's part of my paid stuff but I'll send you a notification as soon as it's launched. Okay, you'll be the first ones to know. All right, lovely people of the internet, that's gonna be it. I need to rush and go jump on a train to head into the old big city of Dublin. I'd love to get your feedback. Hide it up.